The name of the book is Booby Trapped, How to Feel Normal in a Breast-Obsessed World. The first question I'm going to ask you, and I expect participation, uh, and I get what I want. <laughs> what breasts are for? And I expect answers. So if you hand and answer me, what breast, what our breasts are for, ladies? Okay. Yes, in the first row. Breastfeeding, first answer. Wait, wait. You see, I bought my treasure chest. You thought this is my treasure chest. Uh -huh. <laughs> she get pearls from my treasure chest. What else breasts are for, ladies? Sex oh. appeal. I'm good. Okay, what else breasts for? Fit better. Oh, of course. <laughs> I was on a radio show and I asked the question, what is, uh, what breasts are for? And one of the callers, she said, you cannot see me. I have huge butt and I need big breasts to balance my butt. <laughs> so as I go along, I'm getting educated in what breasts are for. I never considered that. <laughs> now, what is body image? Yes. Who said that? <laughs> pearls. Pearls. Happy Mother's Day. Sorry. With negative body image, you view everything as a little bit, I don't deserve. It's not for me. That haircut will not look good on me. I don't look good in red. I mean, this is nonsense. What woman doesn't look good in red? Okay, if you have any questions, just raise your hand, interrupt. You know, you see, I like the... Uh, uh, interactive. Imagine living in a society that you must have large breasts or thin thighs or you must be, uh, you must look like Julia Roberts. Changing your lips and thighs and changing your breast and stomach. And... Okay. What, what's the result is huge expectations. The self, the human in you, the humanity wasn't changed because you didn't come to me for treatment. No, 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 I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. Yes, I did. <laughs> I have the good breast and the bad breast and they keep talking. <laughs> Just pout your hair in the, to the other way. It will produce enough changes because extreme makeovers does not change body image. I want to go on into looking sexy and feeling sexy. Why is it so important in our culture? Think about the time for a minute, for a fleeting moment, you'd actually feel sexy. And I'm not talking about sexual acts at all. Did you feel sexy? Did you feel so delicious and good? Open your eyes and capture that memory for a second. Feeling sexy has to do with feeling alive. Bear with me and don't leave now. When you on a balance beam. You have to have tension in your feet. Then you have to be relaxed from here up. You have to be really relaxed because there are all kinds of strange movements that are going to come very soon and you have to build sexual tension slowly. You cannot build sexual tension like that. Somebody is taking notes. <laughs> Okay, are you with me? Don't go now. And now, I'm thinking, I'm no Julia Roberts. <laughs> I cannot do that. Bastard, I fall off the balance beam. That's the end of the pleasure. Ladies and ladies, I want to impress you. tell you. Do you remember Stephanie who the first speaker today, she was so fabulous, she said, do something to ruin your reputation. <laughs> I'm, oh wait, you didn't see the back. <laughs> I am, I'm not Julia Roberts. I cannot do that. And from that moment on, all I can think of, I want to get up and make some toast and peanut butter and that's the end of that. <laughs> So ladies, I beg you.
This is in the name of mother. Be good to yourself. It's the texture of your skin. It's your sense of humor. It's the size of your b brain. <laughs> and if you and if you can really take it in, give yourself a big hug right now. Thank you so much. You've been wonderful. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Mwah.